All right, everyone. Good to see you again. So this is the 6th of February on Saturday, and this is a recorded video. It's not a live stream. So today I would like to talk about the importance of lines, a support line and resistance line. I think these are the basics, but uh, this is very important when it comes to drawing the lines because uh, this topic I talk about it in the past video and lives also, but this is a recap for those who doesn't understand how to draw the lines correctly. So um, there are lines, there are support lines, resistance lines that are wrong and correct in my experience. So um, let me talk about this topic for today's video session. So this is information is basically based on my express knowledge. So when you take trace, please do within risk. So here is a chart. Here is the NGDJPY chart and this is a daily chart. So when you see this uptrend, um, which support the resistances, uh, would you draw the lines? Is a question. So um, if you want to come up with your own answer, then you can post this uh, screenshot or you can post this video and um, you can uh, think in your head which one is important and which one's not. So if you are ready, then uh, let me tell you my answer. So first, initially, um, I see that this is uptrending because there are consecutive end waves. So obviously this is uptrend for sure. And so the question is where to draw the lines. So I take the lows as these ones. So there are lows over here. There are lows. So let me talk about the support line. Which one is the correct support line to draw? So when you draw the support lines, you look at the lows and you might draw the lines like this way. So you take this low and draw the line like this. And also you take another low here and draw the line. There is another low here and you draw the, draw the line and another one over here and draw the line. And over here, there's another support and here's another support and also here's another support. So we have like lots of supports in the chart. But if you draw the lines like this way, then it's it's too messy. So you want to eliminate the ones that are not important. So which one is not important is a question. So the important support or important um, yeah support lines in this case are the ones that broke the previous high upwards. So I always look at the chart in the N formation. So on this chart the N waves are formed like this way. The N waves are formed like this way. It marked at the top and this became V wave, 100% retracement, and then went downward all the way to this weak low, and then went up and down, and went all the way up, and then it, it came downwards, and then it moved up like this, and goes backwards and moved up, moved up this way. So if you see the mark like this way, like a line, then uh, it makes more sense as to which line is more important, which one's not. So if I, if you see the if you see the chart like this way, and then um, I look at the ones that broke the previous high uppers. So on these supports, which one broke the previous high uppers? So this is one, two, three, and four, five. Let me just mark these numbers so that it makes it much easier to explain. So there are seven supports and the one that broke the previous high is first of all one because there was previous high over here and it broke the previous high from this support. So this one to me is important so I save this one number one and let's look at number two. So number two support uh, after the market marked the support, it broke the previous high uppers also. So number two support is also important. And what about number three? So number three, um, after the market retraced backwards, it went upwards on this one single strong bullish candle, it went upwards, but it didn't break the previous high. It didn't break, but it went backwards. So in this case, number three is not important. So I delete this one. 
So, so that means this support, this level, 73.055 is uh, might not gonna be so respectable to the market in the future. So although the market comes backwards and break this level, 73.055, uh, it might not gonna go so down so much sharply and in fact in number four it broke the number three downwards but technically uh, it didn't go down so sharply but rather the market more respected the previous resistance as support in this case and afterwards the market also broke the previous high from number four so I think this is also important another important uh, support over here number four so number three is not the one to look at so this is not important but number four is number four is important because it broke the previous high and so is number five number five also broke the previous high so this is also uh, important I save the line and what about number six number six here uh, after the market went upwards did it break the previous high and I don't think so. I don't think the market was resisted at the top and it went backwards. So I think this is number six is not the one. So I will just delete this one. I will delete this number six line. And I will just put the cross mark on number six because this is not so important because it didn't break higher. But number seven, number seven broke the higher, broke the previous high and continue to move up this way. So number seven is the important support. You see, so on this, from one number one to number seven supports, number one, two, four, five, and seven are the ones that are, I think it's important. And that's why whenever I draw the lines, I keep these lines for my future reference so that when the market goes backwards, um, then in, when it broke, when the market breaks these levels downwards, uh, I expect the market go down sharply. Or it might be supported. Of course, it might be supported and goes up this way. Whenever the market touches on one of these levels like this way. Or all the way down and be supported and goes up backwards this way too. So these are the supports and the resistances are actually and vice versa so you just see which one is broken at the previous low and you just keep the lines so let me delete these support lines and let me uh, show you which one is which ones are important highs so when it's uptrending there are highs when it when the market retraces backwards so there is one resistance over here and another resistance over here too. There are two, two resistances over here. And also another resistance was here. There, there's a wick upwards. So the, you might think that this is also the one. And also over here at the top, this was also another important uh, high, you think. And also there's another wick high over here. And also right now, the market is marking all the way up here now. So these are i think are the important highs number two one two three and four and number five at the top and number six um over here so among these one to six resistances which one do you think is important which one's not so like i said before um you know you can uh, you can see which one is breaking the previous uh, low downwards so first number one number one after the market retraced backwards it didn't break the previous low because previous low was all the way down over here all the way down over here but it didn't break it just went backwards and moved upwards along the way so in that sense, number one is not so important. So this one is not so important. And moving on to number two over here. Number two, after the resistance over here, it went backwards again. It went downwards, but it didn't break the previous low. 
but it went upwards and mark number three looking like a double top and after number three technically um, it went down downwards and reversing the wave and moved downward all the way so technically for number three or if you want to take this small wicks upwards if you want to take these ones then I think uh, these ones are also important important ones over here so number three or number like uh, I would say like number 3.5 will be also important highs because after this high the market broke the previous low over here downwards technically it broke downwards and when it comes com when it comes to breakout you want to take these close prices so when the candlestick close was below the previous low I would say that these are the previous highs and that are important so in this case I would draw the two uh, two resistance levels like this so that uh, if the market breaks upwards I expect the market breaks upwards con uh, continuously over this way so yeah this one was important highs and also this uh, 3.5 is also important high because it broke the previous low and let's go to the next one this week high on this uh, 31st of December this week high uh, it didn't break downwards so uh, this wasn't so important so I wouldn't take I wouldn't draw the resistance at the top like this way and moving on to the the last one yeah over here there was a weak high also and after this week high the market broke the previous low downwards technically because um, after this week high the market went downwards on I wave and we went all the way down and it broke the previous low downwards so I would say that this is also an important high so I will keep the resistance level over here so that when it breaks I expect the market goes up sharply like this way and now this is a uh, Friday close the market marked all the way high so if the market breaks the previous low in this case the previous low will be over here on this uh, on the week low over here if the market breaks the previous week low then I will draw the resistance over here otherwise I would I wouldn't draw it over here so if, we, if I just delete the ones that are not important and just leave the ones that are important these are my resistance lines yeah, so uh, this uh, number 3 and number 3.5 over here, this is like the uh, only like 20 or yeah, 14 pips in, be in, in between. So this is more of the resistance zone, I would say, in this area. And once it breaks, I expect the market goes up upwards sharply this way. Or it might be resisted and goes backwards from here too. So that's why I leave these lines. And this is a daily chart, but you can uh, switch any time frames and uh, you can draw the lines like this way. So make sure you look at the highs and lows and whether the highs and lows are broken or not is important. And that's a topic that I wanted to say today. So uh, in that reason, uh, let's say when it's range, it's, uh, it's a little bit more messy but when it's trending i think it's more clear so uh yeah let's say on this uh, downtrend let's say on this downtrend uh i would draw the resistance line over here at the top of this uh, 78.581 level this is important high to me because after this it broke the previous low technically it broke the previous low downwards so this was another important high over here and uh, yeah also over here too after this week high on this uh, 73.321 level it broke the previous low also downwards this way so I would draw I would say that this is the resistance zone so once the market touches on these levels in the future at some point it might be resisted and once it breaks it goes up higher so let's see what happened afterwards so okay so this was where the market touched on this uh, on these highs 
on the previous highs and hold on let me zoom in here so after the market break broke the previous high over here between this uh, 30 uh, 73.58 and 73.32 levels uh, it was resisted and it created the range market and broke downwards and this became a fake breakout and afterwards the market went upwards all the way so in this case uh, due to the lines uh, this was uh, these were the important highs that I mentioned this was number three this was number 3.5 and after that the market broke the previous low downwards in this short term but because there were previous highs that were important uh, after it break up this way it went upwards sharply I mean in this case if I see the market real time for example like this way um, uh, we wouldn't know whether the market keeps going up or not in this case it went up or this way we already know that but uh, if I see the market real time on this chart I also expect the market go down this way because there were a couple of resistances in the past and um, this might become a head and shoulders or double top triple top and the market broke the neckline downwards so it can go down this way so and if I see the Ichimoku lines this is the Ichimoku lines over here Ichimoku lines show it's flat flat kumo flat kijun sen chikou span coming back to the candles so I wouldn't take a sell or buy I will just hold it by Ichimoku lines but uh, if you see the chart real time especially just by candlestick patterns um, this might be reversed so after the neckline break you might sell over here you might sell and afterwards the market goes upwards and you get stopped out but um, if you have the decent risk management it's okay but um, in this case if you use Ichimoku that was obvious that it was a range market so this in fact the market was supported by this Kijun Sen and went upwards this way but coming back to the topic of the lines let me delete this uh, Ichimoku lines for now and coming back to this uh, range market hold on let me see yeah so coming back to the uh, the lines in this case um, this might be double bottom sorry double top or triple, triple top over here and it might go downward this way so if you sell over here uh, we know that uh, the market went upwards and uh, you know get the stop loss you, you will get stopped out on this one and afterwards if I move the candles gradually one by one then it goes up this way it goes upwards in the range and afterwards it broke upwards oh, well actually in this case it didn't break upwards technically because there was a weak high still so uh, there are three times of resistances so in this case I will also, also draw the line like this way because um, it broke the previous low downwards on this uh, from these highs over here it broke the previous low downwards so I will also draw the lines like this way and see if the market breaks the previous high if it breaks the previous high upwards for the furthermore then that will be the buy chance so I will just move one more candle and it broke and it broke upwards so as soon as I see this breakout then I will draw the support line like this way I will draw the support line over here because from here from this support it went upwards and broke the previous high so in case the market comes backwards this way um, there is a good chance that the market will be supported at this level and goes upwards or once it breaks it can continue to go down this way and then the market went upwards and now this is the current chart the market broke upwards tested once and broke upwards further and retested on this level on this support line resistance lines retested over here and now it's bullish trend it broke the previous high and this is bullish trend so 
yeah, hopefully you can get the idea of uh, which which support, which resistances are important or not, so that um, in the future uh, market, if you see the future market and if you see uh, breakout, uh, then uh, you can draw the lines correctly on these support resistances, so that uh, you can refer to these lines and take trades accordingly. So once again, never draw the lines like uh, like this one, for example. This is uptrending, so if I just focus on the supports, uh, this wasn't the support because after this, it didn't break higher. But over here was more important support because after this support, it broke higher this way. But not this one, right? Not this one over here. And also over here too was also another important support, but because after this, it broke higher and higher this way. So, yeah, and this one is also important low over here. And also this one is also, in, this one is not important low. So let's see, let me draw this uh, X mark, cross mark over here. And this one was important. After this, it went upwards all the way. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you get the idea like this way and uh, watch market and which one is important, which one's not important, lows and highs. And draw the lines accordingly, like this way. So if you liked today's video session, please press a good button. And tomorrow I will talk about the forecast, weekly forecast. So uh, tomorrow I will cover these pairs and also commodities. I will cover gold and uh, crude oil. It's go going up right now, so crude oil. I will talk about it, and also uh, I will cover these indexes. Uh, we're gonna cover the weekly chart on these indexes, so that the uh, you can refer to my analysis and prepare for upcoming week. So I hope you have a great, great weekend, and I will see you on the next session. And until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.